we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright We have just finished day one of the plaster course and it's really late. We started at like 10 and it's now like, we think it's half seven. We don't know what so time it is. We don't actually know what time it is, it but we feel really hungry. But yeah, we had a really nice time. We, we dug some earth and that just took forever. We were just digging and digging. We were sieving. And then we were sieving it. So we were having fine plaster and then also medium plaster. So that was taking quite a lot of time. And then we had to, oh, we made some mud patties as well. So to test the earth and what sort of ratios are good, we made some mud patties. And uh, we did sort of like ratios of clay to sand in one, one to one, one to two and so on and so forth. And we're just leaving them out to dry. So we'll see in a few days what they sort of look like and which mixes are the best. So yeah, we were sieving the sand. No, we were sieving the earth. <laughs> we were sieving the earth. And then we made some cob with it. You make water and then earth, and, and then, then you leave, leave it, it for a little bit for a, sort of half an hour, an hour is good. And then you mix that, and it makes like a slurry. Uh -huh. And then you add straw, and you sort of you almost wash your straw in it. It's kind of weird. You sort of mix your straw into it, but not too much. And then you sort of put that on the side, and that's your cob. And we were just doing the, the back side of a building. We were just plastering that. And yeah, it was, it was quite fun actually. We very muddy, but yeah, we're, we're getting there. It's, it's actually really good fun. It's, it's much more chilled than the dome course was. It's still work, but it's not quite as hard, yeah. hard graft. As it was the, very relaxed the dome. today, wasn't it? Yeah, a lot of it was quite therapeutic actually. So like when we were mixing the stones, that was really Therapeutic when we were mixing the stones out of the sieving the stones out of the earth. That was really nice. But yeah, so we'll see what we get up to in day two. I think we're just going to be doing perhaps some more plastering. We'll be finishing off the the lower plaster, and then I think we're going to put something over the top of it. Yeah, depending yeah. on how dry it is. So that'll be interesting. But yeah, we'll catch you tomorrow on day two. We have just done day two of the plastering course. And it was a pretty relaxed day again, wasn't it? It felt pretty relaxed. Hardly any lifting going on. Yeah, hardly any. Minimal nice. lifting, minimal lifting. There was a bit of shoveling, a bit of lifting, but it was minimal, so it was really nice. And today we learnt how to mix the medium <laughs> plaster, <laughs> which was just water, half a bucket of straw, and some clay, so some soil. And the, that was the soil that had been mixed in the not so fine sieves. From, yeah, from day number one. From day number one, yeah. The, the, the sieving that we were doing. So from the sort of thicker, chunkier pieces. That's what we made today. And it was pretty good. It sort of handled the same. We put some sand in it. You don't have to do that. But we put the sand in so it was easier to, to play with. So easier to plaster on. So we were using sort of trowels to trowel it on the wall. And we were told to get it quite straight, which we... <laughs> I don't think it was quite straight. The wall was wonky to start with. <laughs> yeah. So the wall was wonky to start with, so it wasn't the best uh, starting point. But yeah, I think we got there okay. It was a little bit um, 
a little bit wonky still, but we got there. It's and a then, re really forgiving material to work with, especially when you're not experienced like us, and it was really fun yeah. because it's forgiving. It's You've just so amazing that it actually stays on the wall. Like yeah. it's still quite shocking when you just put it on the wall and it just stays there. It's it's like crazy. It's really. quite it's quite difficult to describe over camera, but mm. it, it just it's just amazing that this material is just so available and it just sort of sticks there. Yeah, and you, you and kind of expect it to fall off and it doesn't. And it's so much more forgiving than actual plaster that you sort of mix from the building shops. It's it's really quite good stuff. And um, yeah, we made bevels as well today, which are sort of the the lines, what would you call them? Like the patterns, the sculptures in the wall. So we made a few of them today. It's, um, <laughs> it's yeah, I think we're, I'm getting the hang of it. You got the hang of it quite well, I think. I sort of was getting the hang of it. I thought that was a car then. <laughs> the wind sounded like a car. <laughs> now I'm getting attacked by a tree. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, what was I saying? You were saying I was amazing at it. Oh yeah, you, you were weren't. really good at beveling and I wasn't as good. But towards the end I made like a tree. Yeah. And I think I did a nice job of it. But it's quite thin in places, which we've been told that could that could fall. So there's a chance that um, that could fall down. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. And we finished at five instead of seven or half seven. Yeah, we, we were told we could stay as long as we wanted, but we were like out at five because <laughs> we were just too tired. But yeah, that was day two. So we'll see you tomorrow for day three. See you then. Bye. We have just finished day three of the plaster course. We are on our way to the supermarket because we need some food. food. We're running out. <laughs> Yeah, we had a really good day. We just finished off the beveling and we just got, well, we tried to get our walls really straight um, for the next layer, which was the fine plaster layer. So I think you mix the water, fine earth, sand, and the sieved straw. And that gives you she called it a pass. I'm not sure if that, I don't, yeah. She called it the first pass. So with the first pass, that, that was what we used. We gave it a bit of color and really smoothed it out and it started to look really nice actually. When you're working on it, you don't think that it looks nice, but as you sort of step away and then when you come back, you actually think, oh yeah, actually it does look really nice. So we were just doing that. We were just fine tuning, if you like, our bit of wall and yeah i think it's coming together nicely isn't We've done it done a good job for amateurs yeah, I think it's, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's come out really nicely it's much more forgiving than plaster um than traditional plasters like you can you can keep working on it for for hours really in fact if you walk away and come back maybe 15 minutes later you just wet the trowel and yeah you just wet the trowel and, and go over it and trowel over it and it just sort of smooths out really nicely so yeah it's it's nice to work with i don't really understand why you would choose traditional i'm saying traditional but it's not the modern plasters i suppose they're not really traditional it's, the modern there's, there's no dust or hardly any dust only a bit from the straw and yeah non-toxic non, non it's it's really it's nice to work with it's it's absolutely beautiful to work with and you can just get your hands dirty in it we were using hawks at first which are like your um would you describe them as Dave like you plate for your plaster yeah you plate for your plaster so you take it from your hawk and then you smear it on the wall and in the end I just gave up with that because it was just too much juggling the, for me I think the, because the wall isn't straight that when you got the hawk close to the wall you were sort of catching it yeah Maybe I wasn't I was really finding. getting on with the hawk I mean I, it was fine but I much preferred sort of having the plaster in my hand and then sort of doing it from my hand um, you know putting it directly onto the trowel even and just doing it from there yeah that, I found, found that much much easier um, than using the hawk but I think you really I think you're supposed to use the hawk because then it's easier to catch anything that falls but towards the sort of end not much was falling anyway because we were getting the hang of it so <laughs> yeah it's um I think you just got to sort of go with how you feel and just continue with what feels right and 
Yeah, and we got to use some Japanese trowels today, oh. which were amazing. Because they were absolutely amazing. Like they just, really, they do really the work nice for and you. And yeah, hands. and they're quite flexible as well. So for earth building, like they're absolutely perfect. Um, but yeah, I really, really enjoyed using them. And there were some really little ones as well. So you could get like right into all of your cracks and crevices, which was really nice. But yeah, it was a nice, easy day again today. At one point I was drinking my cuppa, uh, my cup of tea while I was traveling. So I was like a proper builder. <laughs> but yeah, we are um, gonna go to the supermarket, get some food, and then we will see you tomorrow for day four. So we just pulled into Sainsbury's. We failed. It's half seven on a Sunday and we didn't even realise it was Sunday. Because <laughs> we have no concept of days anymore. So that was a complete fail. So we're heading home with no food and we'll just have to make do with whatever it is that we've got in the fridge. <laughs> Hello everyone. We've just finished day four. Day four. Day four of the plaster course. And yeah, I feel like we see it every day, but it was another fairly easy day. We um, did some more of the base coat, I believe. Did we do that today? No. We didn't do that today. <laughs> no, we mixed some pigments. We mixed, we mixed some pigments, so we did the colours for the wall. So it wasn't the base coat, no, it was the pigments that we mixed, sorry. And we also mixed some lime plaster. So we applied the pigments and you sort of put the colour on and then you trowel over the other colour and then you put on the white lime plaster and then the idea is that we're going to cut down through them to make patterns so that's tomorrow we haven't done that yet so we haven't seen it work but we need to do a second lime plaster ah uh, yes tomorrow first yeah and then ideally we need to leave it to set longer but we're going to cut through it anyway and we should see the pigments mm, mm. below. Hopefully. Yeah, I think the whole thing we were supposed to leave for longer. <laughs> yeah. um, we, we literally did the two colours straight on top of each other with barely any drying time, which really you shouldn't do. You should leave it for a bit longer. But yeah, it was great. And we had, <laughs> we were mixing the lime plaster and everyone was like, oh, you know, you need to be careful with it. It's, it can be dangerous stuff. It can burn you. So Dave was in the overalls and the goggles and he was mixing away and then Paulina was just coming in and she was just like barehanded. <laughs> it's quite funny. And then towards the end, I think uh, we were all sort of gloved up, but yeah, we weren't really bothering too, too much with the safety aspect. We were trying, but you know, it wasn't, I don't think it's too bad. It, it just dries out your skin. It was a lime um, putty rather, yeah. than a, rather than a powder. Yes. If it was a powder, we should probably have uh... Mm, so I don't think it was too bad. Um, we, we managed fine anyway, didn't we? Um, so yeah, that was day four. So we'll see you tomorrow for day five. We're putting on some more lime wash. And I think we're going to start doing some cutting. I'm not certain. I think so, yeah. We'll find out. We don't know. We'll find out tomorrow. Hello, everyone. Sadly, it's over. We're in the car on our way home and it's all got a bit emotional now as the course has come to an end on day number six. It's really sad, wasn't it? We didn't want to go. We did not want to leave. <laughs> we did not want to leave that place. It was so nice. But we had some really nice words from Paulina, our mentor, and just everyone else. And everyone was hugging and, you know, the usual. It was, it was pretty emotional. And, um... Tears were shed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tears, tears were uh, creeping in. Yeah, it was sad. We also missed day number five yesterday. After a long day at work, we were treated to some storytelling, which was amazing. <laughs> but it was so late that we couldn't um, we couldn't catch up on that. So what we did yesterday was mixing some wheat paste. Which is kind of like a glue. It's like an old-fashioned glue. Yeah. It's kind of like a wallpaper. Very paste. similar to wallpaper paste. Yeah. And it's really simple. You just make it out of water and flour, and you cook it on the, the stove, and then it just becomes like this glue. It's amazing stuff. Yep. Yeah. And we 
spent ages grinding down the lime plaster. Oh, so yes. we'd had one <laughs> we'd had one coat of the lime plaster on and then you sort of have to grind it down just a little ruin, bit. Ruin all of your hard work. <laughs> yeah, basically I spent a lot of time trying to get really, really flat edges, which is worth it to be honest, but it was a bit sad to then just grind it away and it looks a bit it looks a bit strange. Yeah, it looks a bit ruined, doesn't it? But the coarseness of, um, of you grinding it down means that you can put the second layer over. Yeah. So we've got the second layer over. Plus I think as well when you grind it down, it also, it takes down your higher points. Yeah, yeah. So your wall becomes more even. Yeah, the level, the, it helps with the levelling yeah, a lot. Yeah, And I think that was all for day five. Yeah, no, we, we applied the second layer. The second the, coat went on. The yeah. line which took ages because you wanted to get this because it was the final coat we wanted to get it really perfect and um, there were so many like little lines and bumps and you know purposeful bumps that, but it just took ages to get it really just exactly perfect so yeah that took us like half a day to do that and then that was it that was the end of the day because we needed to do that to make sure we tried for the next day when we started carving. Yes, we had to complete it. And then today, the last day, <laughs> was uh, just spent finishing finishing the wall off. We were able to carve down through those two layers of lime plaster, uh, through to the colours. So we had a red and a yellow as well. So we, if we could carve down further, it would get to the red. And if we could carve down a little bit less, it would get to the yellow. And you can see that that we've um, we've done some colourings in the in the carvings. Yeah, you can even go as far down to the original, like the raw yeah, plaster, yeah. the original plaster. Yeah. Um, like that brown sort of strawy coat that we did originally, and that looked really nice. Like I did a bit of that on my owl because I started off trying to do my owl white, and then I ruined my owl. So then I sort of fixed it by taking it down to the brown. There was, a, there was a lot of um, admiring from the four of us. We kept sort of taking steps back and just looking that, you know, we're all amateurs at the end of the day, but it, it looked really, really good. It did. Um, it looked really good work and we were, it was something that we're proud of, all four of us, I think. We we're all just looking at it. <laughs> yeah. We were just looking at it like, oh my God, we, we've created this. So yeah. that was really nice. It was really great. I really can't, can't actually believe we created something. Um, We've had some nice reactions as well, haven't we? Yeah. There, there was, because it's sort of an open community garden, uh, lots of people come in and out and they kept sort of popping over and going, wow, you know, this it is wow. Really nice. <laughs> so that was yeah. some nice feedback uh, there and then. <laughs> yeah, I think we did a really good job to say we've never done anything like that before. I think we did a, a pretty decent job, yeah. I absolutely loved doing it. It points, it was in a little bit because you're just working on one little area like constantly at some point like sometimes for hours you're working on one little bit and you just get fed up with it but when you take a step back and you really look at the wall you sort of realize what you're achieving it sort of puts it into perspective you almost have like another pair of eyes looking at it which is great somebody just got flashed <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just got a speed camera flashed on the other side of the motorway. Oops. Um, yeah. So I better watch my speed now. <laughs> but yeah, we really loved every moment of it, and the ending was so nice. We just like those. We just said some simple words, and then we all got a bit tearful. And yeah, I loved every moment of it. Every moment was great, and it was such a great group of people. Um, I, I, I wouldn't. I, I liked every single person. They, I wouldn't have changed anything about any of it. It was just fantastic. We got showered on a little bit. Like when the goodbyes were happening, it started raining. Yeah. It was like something out of a movie. Yeah. <laughs> we were all sort of saying goodbye, and, and yeah, it just the heavens opened up and it started raining yeah. on us, which is really funny. Yeah, we loved every minute of 
definitely. And we, we definitely want to do more things like this in the future. Um, maybe before we build the house, maybe after we build the house, we're, we're not sure yet, but definitely at some point we're going to do more of these. We just absolutely loved it. It was a great experience. It really was. We, we've the pair of us have watched a lot of content online. We sort of try and get as much as we can as we can find and just watch it. But it's it's absolutely not the same as as going and doing it. And that sounds really obvious when you say it. But when you go and do it, you just really get that feeling. And yeah, if there's any courses that, that go on them, you really get a good experience. Yeah, the yeah. theory is all well and good. Like the theory is really important, but you need to touch it, you need to feel the material, you need to understand that the consistency um, is what you're looking for rather than this exact recipe because every bit of earth is going to have a different sand content, it's going to have a different water content so to actually touch the stuff and feel it and understand this is what I'm, achieve I'm, I'm trying to achieve this with my mix really need to do that and even like going back to the dome course just to, to feel exactly how it is to lay the bag you can be told how to do it all day long but to actually physically do it and to feel it sliding down your leg and to feel that that's where I need to put my toes to make it go where I want it to go that's really important it's so important to, to know that um, before you attempt any sort of building or plastering really important to get those feels for the for what you're doing it's really important yeah all right yeah <laughs> so i think we should i think we should round it off there thanks everyone for watching if you got this far <laughs> i hope you've learned something or maybe had some inspiration or yeah yeah, yeah. We're, we're definitely inspired we are to, definitely inspired. We want to continue down this path that we've started. Because this is just the beginning of the journey really, isn't it? This is this is the start. This is the start. So I hope to see you soon in the future. Bye! <laughs> <laughs>